And today we are joined by Randy Thomas, who holds a position on REC's board. Randy, how's it going this morning? I'm doing fine. Good morning, uh, Anna. Good morning, Tabitha. Glad to be on. Yeah, that's so awesome. It's so cool to not only speak to representatives of Brad Payne Electric Cooperative, Cooperative, but also um, members of their board as well. So this is so awesome. A great opportunity for us to get to know REC just a little bit more. Um, now it's time for our listeners to get to know you a little bit more. So if you could please tell us a little about yourself and how you became interested in serving on REC's board of directors. Okay, well, I, I grew up in Stafford County in the 60s and 70s. Um, I was a partner of Washington Chester Clark Insurance in Braidsburg, which is Senator John Chester was one of the former owners of that. And then uh, was charter member of Stafford Rotary Club in Stafford County back in the day. Um, also, I was Rappahannock Electric's insurance agent uh, in the 90s. And that's how I became familiar with the operations and learned so much about the cooperative model. Tell us what it means to you to be on the board. Well, I enjoy community, and um, my first exposure to Ravenhead, besides being an insurance agent, was in 2015 or so, I was appointed to their Power of Change program, mm -hmm. which is a program where our members round up their bill to the nearest dollar on their meter. Mm -hmm. And we raise about 100000 plus a year that we give back mm -hmm. to the community in grants. Wow. So that was really one of the things that really interested me in REC was how much Rappahannock does for the community of which it serves, 22 counties. Um, the other thing was they have a lot of employee programs, Project Big Heart being another one where Rappahannock raises so much money again for the community in various ways to the efforts of their staff and employees. Um, and that was uh, really something that drew me to it. I guess the other piece of it was that my dad worked for an electric utility Dominion, which was Vepco back in the day. Mm -hmm. He worked in the office, which today is Brock's Restaurant downtown. Oh, yeah. You guys might be a little young and not remember that way back in the day. So my, my dad worked for Virginia Power for 40 years, and he, he worked in a line crew, worked in the substation department. And uh, that was a big reason I ran, too. Is I knew what it was like for my dad to answer that phone call at two in the morning on the Tuesday. Mm -hmm and disappear for two weeks in an ice storm. Yeah. So I had a lot of respect for the folks that uh, run electric utilities. That's sweet. I love how you have a little personal tie to it too. That's awesome. That is so cool. And we, I can't tell you how many press releases that we get a month from Rapid Electric Cooperative talking about their involvement in the community. Mm -hmm. So it really is amazing and speaks volumes when you guys are talking about it as well. It's unbelievable. It really is. It's it's incredible. I think we have so much good news about REC um, every episode. So um, I would love to know, how do you stay as a, as a member of the board? How do you stay in connection with the members of REC? Well, um, I live in Spotsylvania County. I live here out at Lake Anna uh, with my wife, Jamie. Uh, we still have one uh, child in the household, my son, Randy III. He's at Radford University. And my daughter graduated from Longwood, and she's in the tech sector up in Weston. Uh, we live, work, and play here at the lake and surrounding counties, Spotsylvania, Louisa, Orange. Um, and my wife and I are involved in several organizations around the lake, one such as the Lake Anna Business Partnership. We perform community services uh, and also get to know everybody. Um, we do as much volunteer work as we can. And, and we did that last weekend. We did a, a roadside pickup on Route 208 from the Lake Anna Bridge all the way to Dickinson Store. That's uh, about two miles. And, so we try, and that gives me an opportunity to meet new members, to engage with members. Um, it allows me to understand their issues they may have, but also the good part is you hear so many positive comments and they way outnumber the things that people are concerned about, about uh, our, our good things are that the members really love that the linemen work so hard to keep the power on for them. And we get so much praise my members so I, I meet them through all the efforts around the lake here that's awesome we were um we stayed over in lynchburg the other weekend was that trash pickup just a couple weeks ago yeah it was uh last yeah. sunday morning yeah yeah sunday sunday. before last last we saw, sunday was evening. we saw all the bags I was like oh they did a big old pickup <laughs> it was 108 bags plus you know, oh. tires and 
and so on. It took us about three hours, and there was an effort of about 60 people uh, from various organizations. It was sort of organized on Facebook. Oh, cool. And, uh, by Dwayne Adams, a supervisor in Louisa. Oh, cool. Very awesome. That's awesome. So I know that um, REC holds annual meetings each year, and I believe that's where the election of REC's board of directors is. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, all members have a voice and are encouraged to participate and to be involved. Mm -hmm. uh, the nomination for board members starts in March and ends in May of each year. It's a, it's a democratic process that uh, three elections, three, three directors are elected each, each year for a three-year term. Um, we send out proxies and a proxy designation form is mailed to all members, but it's also made uh, available electronically mm -hmm. for the election. So it's right. a democratic process. Oh, cool. So awesome. Randy, I think we can, I can speak for Tabitha and I. Um, that has been a pleasure getting to know Rapid Hand Electric Cooperative more this season on Good News Fredericksburg, but getting to meet um, individuals like you in the community who are supporting Rapid Hand Electric Cooperative mm -hmm. um, in a different way. And it is just fantastic. Um, we take for granted turning our lights on every day and uh, to hear from people and individuals that make that happen. Uh, makes me think about a little bit more when I turn that light switch on. So uh, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. You're very welcome. I'm glad to help you and, and be able to speak this morning with you. Awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks, Randy. You're welcome.